Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name's Kristen and today we're finally starting an outdoor makeover here at the lake house. I'm so excited. I have been wanting to decorate and furnish this outdoor space ever since we moved in. And that was about a year ago now, so it's still pretty much empty and we have a lot of work to do. We just recently furnished this little lounge space here with a fire pit and comfortable seating, but I wanna extend this design into the dining space now. This empty space is right off of the kitchen. We have our barbecue out here and now we need a place to sit and entertain. I'm thinking furniture, lighting, plants, all the things to really bring it together and make it feel like an extension of the house. So I hope this video gives you some ideas on how you can decorate style and furnish your outdoor space. If you enjoy watching and find this video helpful, Helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. I'm designing this outdoor space like I would an open concept home. We have our living room at the front here and our dining room at the back. And it's all about how to connect these two spaces. Right now we have the living room towards the front because it's low sitting furniture so you can enjoy the view and walk through that fire pit area. And we're gonna have the higher sitting furniture at the back here. The color scheme was pretty much decided on what's already out here, which is terracotta colors, creams, and grays. So we're gonna keep going with that into the dining space to tie together the entire look. I love this neutral color palette, especially for an outdoor space. It tends to look a little bit more high-end and timeless. Every time I'm looking for new furniture, I create a mood board like this and put my existing furniture pieces on as well as new ones that I'm looking for. This gives you a really good visual of what everything's going to look like beside each other. And of course, always measure your space before picking out any furniture. You want to make sure that you're getting large enough or small enough furniture for your space. For reference, this is about 15 by 20 feet. To cozy up the outdoor space, I brought in this gorgeous outdoor rug. I love that this looks and feels like an indoor rug, but it has the durability of an outdoor rug. So you can hose it down, clean it up, and it can dry perfectly. This really helps brighten up the floors. It brings out the white in the walls, and it's gonna help center and anchor all of the dining furniture. I ended up going with a nine by 12 rug for this space. So we have room for a large dining table and eight dining chairs. I'm so excited to show you guys the outdoor furniture because I partnered with Article on today's makeover an article has some of the best outdoor furniture. I think a lot of their outdoor furniture looks like indoor furniture. It's always super stylish. They have amazing quality and there's so much to choose from. So I just got a huge delivery from them. Let's open up the boxes and see what everything looks like. I knew I wanted a large dining table to fill this space, so I went with the Offer Extendable Dining Table. This is the perfect gray tone and it's extendable, so you can fit six people or pull the leaf out and have eight people sit around the table. This looks like the perfect dining chair. Wow. I love the way they look. They're super comfortable, they're really wide, and I love the bubbly curved back. If we did all rectangular back dining chairs, I think this area would look a little bit boring, so this new shape really introduces something new, and the wood tone matches our sofas perfectly. It's all really tying together nicely, and I love how much space we have out here now. So of course this dining space needs some shade because it gets a ton of sun during the day. So I'm gonna be bringing in an offset umbrella. So the base is gonna sit over here and the umbrella is gonna kind of hover over the table like that. So that keeps the base out of the way and off to the side. That means we're gonna relocate this barbecue area over to the other side of the patio. Now we have the barbecue a little bit more central with the living space, the dining space, and it's right beside a light. So we can finally see what's going on on the grill at night. This keeps the barbecue area a little bit more open. We're not backing onto chairs. You have so much more circulation space.
All right, let's check out this umbrella. I found it on Amazon. It's a huge umbrella. I was looking for something that was white and wood, something that would kind of match this space. And I think this is a good one. Wow. That looks so good. This is the type of umbrella that actually turns 360 so I can move it around this area and kind of shade wherever we need. So if you don't have a table with a hole in the middle for the umbrella, get an offset umbrella like this and it will save you space and create a really nice shaded area. I want to create some storage on either side of the umbrella to store all of our life jackets and outdoor supplies and it will kind of help cover up and decorate this spot here. Last time I was at Ikea, I picked up two of these outdoor storage units. These are the perfect color that really will blend into the house and not look too bulky. And they have them in different sizes and shapes. So if you need more storage, they also have larger sizes, but this little storage piece will be the perfect size to put on either side of the umbrella. I like that these are super neutral. They kind of blend into the color of the house and they give us the perfect amount of storage space. All right, today I'm headed out to the garden center. I wanna bring the patio to life with plants and flowers and I don't have any garden space up there so I got a bunch of different pots. I've been collecting different colors and textures and sizes so I can kind of layer them together, spread them out throughout the entire patio and bring the space to life with plants. I don't really have a specific idea of what plants I'm looking for. I'm not a huge plant expert but let's see if we can find some pretty things that I can hopefully keep alive. Okay, so I picked up an assortment of flowers and plants and I tried to find things that are gonna do well in pots. And I tried to stay within a color scheme that kind of matches the orange terracotta stone color. So we have some orange hibiscus, which are really pretty tropical looking. Also, these are beautiful and totally match the color scheme. They also do really well in pots. I got some of these smaller flowers just to bring in some whites and then white hydrangeas. Hopefully these bloom really nicely because they would be stunning. And I always like to add these Her Majesty palm plants. They just look really tropical. They add some height and they're usually really affordable. I just drilled little holes at the bottom of some of my pots that didn't have any holes just so we can have good drainage for all of these plants. I think I have everything ready to go, so let's get gardening. Good morning. It's so nice walking out here every morning and seeing little improvements. This whole outdoor patio space looks like a little getaway already and it's not even done yet. So today we're adding in some small furnishings, some little details and our entire lighting design plan. If you're doing any outdoor hosting or entertaining, I think a little service stand or outdoor bar cart is just what you need. I found this little outdoor foldable table from Home Goods, and I loved that the top comes off so that you can bring food and drinks over to the table. It's just super functional and also really decorative. So I'm kind of mimicking my living room space with these little poofs. I found these at TJ Maxx and they're great for additional seating around the fire and coffee table, but they're also perfect for just putting your feet up and creating a little bit more of a relaxing space. So I always think poofs are a great addition to any indoor or outdoor space. These ones are actually fade resistant, weather resistant and UV protected. 
So I'll show you guys all the lighting that I'm gonna be using. I got two of these large white lanterns. I use these upstairs on my outdoor balcony space and a ton of you guys loved them. They're actually from Bed Bath & Beyond and they're on sale right now. So I got the largest size, I love the scale. I love that they're white and they're solar powered so I don't have to worry about turning them on and off. And then I got two little woven lanterns. These are from Home Goods. I love putting these on tabletops and surfaces. They just add some texture and you can put little LED candles inside. I also got these two lanterns and stands from Article. They're the Bora Lantern in large and small and they kind of act like an outdoor floor lamp. They actually come with a full light bulb that's battery powered. So I put the batteries in, you twist this on and you have a full working light bulb. And then of course, all my outdoor string lights. I still have to put all of the little bulbs in. These are pretty heavy duty, but we're gonna do a really cool lighting design all across this outdoor space. I'm gonna have the string lights go over top of the umbrella using these 11 foot poles. These actually hook right onto any fence so that you can attach them to vertical surfaces and create that height. So I'm gonna be attaching these poles just about here one on this side and one down there and they're going to connect to the roof line so if you don't have height on both sides you can use poles like this to really extend your space up wow i think it's gonna work it's gonna look cool oh my gosh look at that it's gonna be perfect it's like a party instantly One last thing we're gonna be installing are my little wall pots. I'm gonna hang six of these little terracotta pots up on the wall right here using these little floating wall hangers. This is such a fun way of adding some detail to any blank wall or empty fence in your yard. You can turn it into a herb wall or a flower wall just like this. I think we can actually finish this off by sunset, so I'm gonna bring in all the little finishing touches, light up this space so I can show you guys the big reveal. Now is the perfect time to show you guys what this space looks like. It's golden hour, the sun is setting, it's so pretty out here. I can't even believe the transformation of this outdoor space. We had absolutely nothing out here. It wasn't as usable as I wanted it to be and now it's more than I imagined. Usually I don't let anyone see the makeovers until I'm done, but Christian was helping me with this one. He hasn't seen it with the lights on, fire on, and all the finishing touches put together. So let's bring him out here and see what he thinks of our new and improved outdoor patio. On the counter three you can open your eyes ready okay. you already know what it looks like mm. <laughs> one two three. Oh wow yeah you like it I feel like I'm on vacation See what it looks like at the fire. Look, wow. it's so cute. Such a vibe. You could just be out here at night now, and then we can see it during the day with the umbrella. So tired. So good. You yeah. did a good job. You did a good job. Well, not really. You did. You helped me so much. 
All right, so that's it for my patio makeover. I hope you guys enjoyed watching, and I hope this gave you some ideas that you can implement into your outdoor space. Let me know down below in the comments what you guys think of our new and improved patio and what your favorite piece is. I'll have all of these individual pieces linked down below in the description box so you guys can check them out as well. Anyways, if you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and hit that like button, and make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have your notifications turned all the way on so you're first to see the next video. Love you guys so much and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!